our business started deciding to uh, donate defibrillators to other organisations after we were at a social evening and we overheard a conversation between uh, a site manager and a project manager. We overheard the, the conversation that both a gentleman had taken a heart attack on a site in Hamilton and they both had tried to uh, give him mouth-to-mouth and chest compressions. Unfortunately, the gentleman uh, didn't survive. It had a serious effect on the, the two gentlemen that tried to save the guy's life. We, we felt ourselves that uh, after, after hearing the story, how it affected them, uh, that, that we would uh, start donating uh, defibrillators to various projects. We've donated two at the moment uh, and we're hoping to donate five. One is actually on a health centre that's getting built at the moment in Eastwood and the other one is on a health centre that's getting built in Mary Hill. I think it should be a legal requirement for workplaces uh, to have a defibrillator on site because some of the sites that we go to it could be five men but some of the sites it's a hundred men and obviously that's compounded uh, to the, 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 the amount of people that could, could take not well at any given time. Some folk are obviously frightened to use a defibrillator. You're better to use it than not use it, because at the end of the day, if you're in cardiac arrest, uh, you're effectively dead. So it's always better to try and use something as opposed to nothing. Uh, defibrillators nowadays are basically idiot-proof. Um, they talk to you, they're fully automated, um, and they're actually the cost of them is reduced. Uh, so from a financial aspect, uh, you're saving quite a bit of money. I think as employers, uh we need to look at the aspect of what cost do you put on someone's life. We don't think anything about going out and paying nine hundred or a thousand pound to insure a car, but if we're asked for a thousand pound to save someone's life, we've actually got to think about it. I think first aid is a paramount in our industry. Um, more so nowadays, the health and safety legislation is quite intensive. I think. Uh, it's also helpful at the first aid, we need to remember, although it's used at work, it can still be used in the home as well. And people need to remember that good trainings must, must be given because uh, first aid doesn't mean that you're there, you're an ambulance person or anything. You're first on the scene and you're actually just making the person comfortable, etc. through your training until an ambulance arrives. Spectrum Decorating are fully committed to continuing. We've donated two defibrillators at the moment. We want to continue to, uh, to donate up to a, another three. There's no legal requirement to have defibrillators on construction sites in Scotland, but we feel the more that are out there, uh, the more people's lives can be saved.